the hero location, the one that would become Slapsy Maxis, we had an exterior and interior both. So we wanted to do a shot that acknowledged the fact it was a practical location as well as to just kind of have some fun. When we scouted locations for Slapsy Maxis, originally we were just gonna build the interior on a set and then shoot the exterior someplace else. But our production designer, Maher Ahmed, found this amazing empty storefront and it was a completely intact Art Deco block that was vacant. Not only did we have this big empty space, this previous supermarket to build the set in, but we have the exterior, we have the nightclub, we have the bookie operation all in, all connected together and all able to be shot contiguously to, to one another and that was a, a big advantage. Which as soon as we had that, me and Dion kind of looked at each other and said we got to do like, you know, something that acknowledges this because the only way you'd ever know is if there's a shot that connects the two. So we devised a, a shot that starts on a crane with a steady cam. The crane drops down, the operator steps off the crane, and we move into the club and we introduce the world of Slapsy Maxis. It's a long shot. It definitely is uh, somewhat indulgent, but I, I love it. It was a challenging shot, but it was, uh, you know, it was a lot of fun too. It took us, you know, a couple of hours to rehearse and work out, and then you cross your fingers and you hope that all the elements will fall into place, you know, because everything's got to work out on the street, the cars have got to cross, the dialogue between the two actors that had to play out within the one shot. We've got to get into the building, then once we're in the building, everything's got to work inside. It took about 17 takes of a lot of rehearsals and and on our 17th take, we got the one that ended up in the film. 